Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are very happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the little bell next to it and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. The grocery budget is a favourite topic amongst cheapskaters, especially how you can stick to it, even with the rising prices that we are seeing with inflation and the huge inflation we are seeing right now. Well, guys, if you want to cut your grocery bill, you need a plan. And the plan is simple. It's inventory, meal plan, create a shopping list and hit the shops. You do an inventory so that you're not buying things you already have that need to be used up. You use your inventory to plan your meals. That uses up the ingredients you already have so they won't be wasted. Having a meal plan also removes the temptation to pick up takeaway on the way home from work or sport or because you're running late and there's nothing for dinner. It's already planned. But best of all, it stops every single family member from asking you one by one, what's for dinner, mum? What's for dinner? Once you know what you'll be eating, you've got your meal plan, you can make up your shopping list and you're adding only the ingredients you need to round out your meal plan. Be specific. Can't stress this enough. If you really want to stick to this budget, you've got to be specific. Buy the exact amount of ingredients you need. This saves money, but it also saves waste. Don't be afraid to try generics and other brands um, if they're cheaper than your regular brand. If you can't find an ingredient, look for a substitute that's the same price or, better yet, cheaper. As I said, and I say it often and often, if you don't like it, you can always switch back to your favourite brand, just buying it on sale and stocking up, of course. Once the shopping list, once you've got that shopping list done, leave your credit or debit card at home. Take cash and just the amount you've allocated for your grocery money. Nothing helps you stick to your grocery budget as much as the fear of being the person who holds up the checkout queue because they don't have enough money to pay for their order. Then hit the shops, collect your trolley, whip out your list and start shopping. Remembering that if it's not on the list, it's not going into the trolley. Head to the checkout, double check you have only what's on the list as you load it onto the belt. Pay for it using the cash from your grocery budget. Hopefully you've planned and shopped well and you will have change. And that can go straight into your grocery slush fund. What do we use the slush fund for? Top-ups, extra special super deals to build our pantry. So having a little in the slush fund is a good thing. Before I go, thank you so much for staying with me right to the end and subscribing because you have hit that subscribe, haven't you, that subscribe button. If you could give us a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. And comment. I read every comment. I do my best to answer all your questions too. Please feel free to share this video or any of the others on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to grow and be recognised more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy, crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone.